In this video, we will be studying about the types of unemployment. We have four types of unemployment that is frictional, structural, voluntary, and involuntary. So we will be discussing all the types of unemployment here. Number one we have is here frictional. Unemployment. I see what is your frictional unemployment? It is an unemployment associated with the changing of jobs in the dynamic economy, which means that if you have skipped your job and if you are searching for a new job and you have changed your job, so there is some span of time that you remains unemployed so that is your frictional unemployment so it is an unemployment associated with the changing of jobs in dynamic economy right so it arises due to the immobility of labor shortage of raw material lack of information regarding opportunities of employment shortage of power wear and tear of machinery tendency of the workers to move from one job to another search of remunerative jobs etc so why these jobs uh, why this happens is due to your immobility of labor and then you have a shortage of raw material then we have your lack of information regarding uh, your employment opportunities opportunities and then you have shortage of tendency of the workers to move from one job to another so these are your frictional unemployment the structural unemployment now it is a unemployment that results from the long term decline of certain industries. Which means that let's suppose there is some technological change a uh, company is bringing in its firm, right? So what they do, they give a break to uh, for a few days to the employees that you can go to vacations for one month or two months, and then we will hire you again, and then we will start up with a new technology. Till then, we can install the new technology in the firm. So. This is due to the industry's decline unemployment, right? So it is associated with the structural change in the economy. It arises when other factors of production like your capital land etc are in shortage and then we have when labors
are trained in old and decaying industries and are ill equipped for new emerging industries. Or when there is, you know, change in the production technique, or when there is churn, change in the factors of production. So these are the various factors that cause the structural unemployment. Now, what is involuntary unemployment? The third one. See, the jobs are there in the market, but you are not willing to work at the prevailing wage rate. Let's suppose there is a doctor, and the job is available for rupees ten thousand a month. But what the doctor is saying that see I am a doctor, I am a professional, I am not ready to work at this ten thousand rupees, so I so according to his his own will he is unemployed because he's not ready to work at the prevailing wage rates. So this is your voluntary so I have explained you voluntary uh, unemployment so we'll be doing voluntary not involuntary this is voluntary unemployment voluntary unemployment means you are willing not to work according to your wish work is available to you but you are not ready to work at the prevailing wage rates so your voluntary unemployment refers to it refers to a situation When a person is unemployed because he is not willing to work at the existing wage rate. Even when work is available. I gave you an example of doctor, so you can write the example. If the market wage rate of doctor's jobs in the hospital is rupees 10,000 per month, but some of the qualified doctors refuse to accept job of rupees 10,000 a month, then they will be considered as voluntarily unemployed. Such type of unemployment is not included in estimation of total unemployment in the country. The next one we will study is involuntary unemployment. See, involuntary unemployment is that you are not willing to be unemployed. You are ready to work at any wage rate that is offered by you to the market. Right? But Involuntary unemployment means that you are ready to work and you are not getting work. You are ready to work at any wage rate but you, jobs are not available in the market. So you have to remain unemployed. This is a compulsion. So involuntary unemployment is a compulsion. To remain unemployed because jobs are not available in the market although persons are willing to work at the prevailing wage rates although Persons are willing to work at prevailing wage rates. So they are ready to work at any of the prevailing wage rates in the market but the jobs are only not available. So it is considered in the estimation of total unemployment in the Economy. When you calculate the total unemployment, you consider this involuntary unemployment in the 
while calculating the total unemployment. I hope you have understood the types of unemployment. Do download the Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.